I put my ear to the ground and found someone who may know the location of the Koinor diamond. Excellent. Heist my favorite. A man by the name of Cornelius Toti Butter. Beer drinker. What? I can tell. He is apparently a friend of the royal jeweler. How will we find him? He frequents a pub in the city of London Borough called The George. Sounds like the sort of man I know how to deal with. Don't be ridiculous. Fret not, dearest sister. I will take care of this one on my own. Come find me in Westminster when you have the information we need. Not with the royal jeweler this evening. It's a shame to drink alone. Whatever it is you want from me, I'm not interested. What I am interested in is ordering another pint. I'll tell you what. If I can outdrink you, you tell me where the famous Koinor diamond is located. <laughs> you think you can drink me under the table? That's a lot to wager on a losing battle. I'll take that as an accepted challenge then. Barkeep, two pints over here. last night. Well, I'll never make it back to the train in this state. I'll have to try to remember what happened. I know I was at a pub, but which one? Ah, you survived the night, I see. I wasn't sure what would become of you. <laughs> I'd seen the last of you when you sauntered off to that shooting competition. The name of the game is... Shoot the bottle? Precisely. Can you do it? Can you tell me where the diamond is? You have to beat me at this first. Good shot. Next time. 
You're a good shot. Better than I ever would have guessed. We're done with this pub, but not done for the night. On to the bricklayer's arms with you, Johnny boy. Follow me. It's Jacob. Did you see that? Who did that? Who did what? Never mind, Cornelius. Just tell me where the diamond is. Someone spilled it. Some bastard spilled my beer. Listen. So adorable. Beer. Fine. I'll find the fool that did this. That's a relief. I was talking to that yarn-spinning oaf, Dickens, when I turned back to my drink, and it's all over the place. I bet you good money those evil blighters did this. By Jove, spill someone's drink? Why would I ever do such a nasty thing? Sour bunch, dwindling in number, but absolute terrors in this particular neighborhood. Thing someone can do if you ask me. You have to have one ugly personality to do that. You do. Which leg? Yes, but then Do you want them to change the back, or do we want to rub their noses and then mess their men? You've got the wrong man. I haven't played a game of cards since the dog's age. <laughs> well, what about him? I hate those bastards. They love to terrorize me. You need to do something about them. You think I spilled my own beer? Ludicrous. Wait, well, maybe I did. We better get out of here before they start asking for more. Well, that was a bit frightening, now, wasn't it? Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. None of that now. Come, let's get you home. I don't think I can stand. You must be joking. Oh, 
Oh, Joseph, I'm so glad to have a friend to join me. You're the nitwit from the boy! Let's make him sorry for poking our nose in the right place. <laughs> we should do this every night. Are you still talking? I think I overdid it tonight. Oh well, I'll sleep it off. This is my place. You're a good drinker, you know. You might be better than me. I am. And never you forget it. Good night, then. Julia! But wait... <laughs> At least I know where to find him. Where is that button for? How did you get up here? I walked you home. Jacob? Finally! Now tell me, where is the bloody diamond? Does this technically count as winning? All right, all right. It's in the Tower of London. Surprise! It's being held there until tonight's gala finishes, and then it will be shipped back to the royal jeweler for another cutting. Many thanks. Buttons. Now hold on right there. You look terrible. And you're late? Me? Never. I was simply retrieving the information you sent me to get. It was easy, really. Something about an event happening tonight at the Tower of London. The Gala? I will be attending. You're our in, then. You can't just barge in and steal the crown jewels. She's right. We need a plan. Oh, bother. Jacob, you can escort Mr. Singh to tonight's event. This will give you a chance to slip away from the party and find the Koi Noor. I'll take care of the guards around the perimeter. Meet me at the top of the White Tower. Good! Another chance to wear the suit. No weapons allowed. Where's the fun in that? I should find Singh. are being held upstairs, but be careful. If this isn't one of the most heavily guarded places, then I'm a true Englishman. I may need your help to distract these guards. Just give me the signal.
need Sing to distract those guards. England has seen enough of red. Why not change the uniform? You'd all look dashing in a shade of butter yellow. Do you suppose he's still angry with you? Surely not. Well, you did call him a craven, jackal-hearted rascal of no breeding. Seems like the sort of thing that might make one carry a grudge. You might have a point. Ah, I do miss a ball. England has seen enough of red. Why not change the uniform? You'd all look dashing in a shade of butter yellow. The diamond is on the second floor. It's awfully quiet up here. Asleep. I wonder what's inside that crate. Someone got here before I did. Well, if the diamond's not here, I've got to find it before it leaves the building. If it hasn't already. Where could it have gone? Where could it have gone? Where could it have gone? Where are you? This plan was genius. We'll get him this time. Friends with the Queen? <laughs> she won't be friends with him when she finds the diamond is in his pocket. He'll never see it coming. Once he tries to walk out that door, he'll kiss his royal title goodbye. And henceforth be known as Prisoner Singh. They planted the diamond on the leap? Not good.
charming as you are, Mr. Singh. <laughs> you flatter me, Ma. Now, could you tell me, how did you two know each other? Oh, we met at the missionary compound in Patagon, Your Majesty. The logins were quite fond of the Ellsworths. Mr. Singh and I were quite close, Your Ladyship. It was a lonely time on foreign soil for me. I was more than happy to have a friend. I'm sure. And now the company has sent you I need to lift the diamond. Mm, I wish I could disclose the information, Your Ladyship. But alas, I cannot. I'm sure you will learn of it soon enough. <laughs> My goodness, are you alright? My apologies. Matt, may not. Honestly, you're being overbearing again. I want to talk with you. The very notion that a person of my status Look be at that in this manner. Play. No manners. Now to find my sister. You are not fit to breathe the same. Now, to reach the White Tower. The place is crawling with Templars. I've got to secure the perimeter. What took you so long? Bit of a mishap. Here it is. What happened? Somebody stole it first. The safe had been robbed by the time I got there. The British Indies Company will stop at nothing. There was a plan to frame Singh. I lifted it from him before the Royal Guards found it. Imagine the look on Her Majesty's face if... They must know by now that their plan was foiled. You're welcome. I think it's time to depart.
I need to find a way out of here. I hope they make it out all right. Just barely. What do you mean? I'll tell you about it another time. You encountered some trouble? We can't speak of this here. The British Indies Company is up to no good again. Outside, then. You, sir! Halt for inspection! <laughs> I beg your pardon? Search him! Corinora isn't here. But of course there's nothing. What do you take me for? Some sort of criminal? that commotion about, Mr. Singh? I do believe they thought I was trying to pinch the koh your ladyship. Ha! Huh? The koh -Nor? Who on earth would want to steal that potato? Good night, your highness. We barely got out of there in one piece. The British Indies Company tried to plant the diamond on you and frame you for stealing it. Luckily, I was there just in the nick of time. We need to meet back at Mr. Green's shop. I must see the diamond with my own two eyes. 